This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Valdemar back here with another episode of Front Mission 3. In the last episode, we continued going through Tall Base, encountered the warrior, or I guess, Vonzer pilot, Jose, who uh, we defeated and wanted us to kill him. Well, we left him behind with uh, with uh, Purple Haze and Dennis and Ryogo as uh, Emma and Kazuki are dealing with a scientist and find Alyssa, finding her a little faster than we did before, I've noticed. Sister, sister, where are you? I don't secretly want to have sex with you, sister. Is it? Uh, anyway, uh, I forgot what. <laughs> Emma just said something and I didn't say it. Anyway, Japanese scientists. Who are you? Are you the rebels? What Japanese? We don't have anything to do with the Philippines. Yeah, true, as today, as in uh, this futuristic game. We found the USN. We're here to help you. Help us? Why? Why would the USN help us? I'll tell you later. We need to escape first. Is Alyssa Takamura here? Kazuki! Alyssa! What are you doing here? Oh, good. I thought you might be dead. Now I can... Now I don't have to repress those sexual urges anymore. I mean, it's good to see you, sis. Alyssa. Question mark? I don't know. She's a scientist from the USN. A, a scientist? Yeah, a scientist. And? Anyway, let's uh, talk to the scientist. USN? Wait, aren't you Japanese? Well, I am. Emma isn't, though. I mean, as far as we know. How about Blue Cop? There's no time. We must escape. Midas might be odd. Midas? It's a new bull. <laughs> it's a new bomb that got transported from Japan. What's going on? The Midas originally belonged to the USN. They came here to take it back. So you're the one. You're the one who made that bomb. Okay, calm down, Alyssa. What are you talking about? A tool of mass destruction. Oh, what's with that face there? How could you make such a thing? I don't think it was originally meant to be a bomb, wasn't it? It was supposed to be like a power source or something? No, it wasn't. You know what happens when that bomb goes off. Yeah, we have seen it, actually. No, with that, why did you make it? Uh, to reiterate. Okay, I must not have a good chance. Ah. You know how the Midas functions. I saw the real thing. Oh, yeah, she was there when the bomb went off or when the testing went off or whatever. A bomb used in auric nuclear radiation doesn't exist in this world. I'll never forget the person who made it. Sad dot dot dot. Well, sorry, Emma. It looks like, uh, looks like Alyssa's just not gonna let this slide. Only Alyssa understands how the bomb functions. How come you guys don't? Just not your, not your field of science, I guess? That's enough, Alyssa. I keep clicking on the one that progresses the story instead of, like, talking to everyone else. I think I did that last time, too. That's enough, Alyssa. Kazuki. You said too much. Apologize to Emma. It's okay. She's right. I'm the one at fault. Ugh. Depressed dot dot dot. It's okay if you can't forgive me, but we have to leave. Please. No, I'm not going with her. Are you really going to say that to your rescuers, dude? I mean, come on. Lisa. I mean, your brother's here. I mean, he, he's working with them. I think you'll come with us, won't you? Stay if you want, but I won't let the rest of us be killed because of you. Yeah, true. Just kick your ass to the curb, lady. She's like, resign, dot, dot, dot. Lisa, come with us. Okay. There we go. That was easy. All you had to do is have your uh, stepbrother say, come with us, and she's like, okay. But this ain't over, Emma and Alyssa. You're going to fight at some point, aren't you? Ooh, I hope we get a cat fight. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, we got to got to get the scientists and Alyssa out of here. So are we going to go back, are we going to do what we did last time, or are we going to do a different direction? Because we're not, we're still in a time crunch, but not as much as before. <laughs> I was getting tired of waiting. Hey, Alyssa, are you all right? Where you go? Yeah, I'm pretty badass. Does something bother you? No, it's nothing. Oh, sounds like there's some tension going on of one type or the other. What's wrong, Emma? Do you feel ill? Uh, don't worry, it's nothing. Hey, hey, what's wrong, people? 
Save it, people. We have to escape. Actually, I think in this case, uh, um... Oh, wait, no, I'm thinking of something else. Never mind. Forget what I said. Is that soldier still here? Oh, yeah, Jose. Is he still around, or did he leave, or did he bugger off? Oh, looks like he's still wallowing in his own self-pity. <laughs> just forget about it, man. Oh, yeah, he is just standing there. He just look at his mech. Calm down, dude. This base is this base is dangerous. We better get out of here. Ah, depressed sigh. I am your enemy. Why do you insist on saving me? I'm not a soldier. There are no enemies or allies. I don't know if that's true, but okay, okay whatever, Kazuki. Thinking dot dot dot. If you're not a soldier, then why are you fighting? Do you have to be a soldier to protect the ones you love? Oh, that was cheesy. Do you have to be a soldier to fight? I guess that's true. Yes. That is why I became a soldier, to protect this country. Jose Estrada does not sound like a Philippine name. That sounds like either a, a Spanish name or a or a, you know, South America name. Well, then again, this is the 24th century. Who knows how people moved to live around. Maybe he was born here from a Spanish mom. Who knows? I fought for this country and lost a loved one. I have no right to live. You think that person would be happy if you died? You're just blaming your lack of worth on the war. Probably true, dot, dot, dot. You must have things are still left undone. You can't die yet. Don't have a suicidal attitude, man. Thinking, dot, dot, dot. If you don't play on dying, you better get out of here. That's true. You could have done many things to get rid of your life. You could have committed suicide. Could have let. Could have failed to fight in that fight. You did that so you wanted freedom, right? So apparently you're not completely de demoralized. Thinking, dot, dot, dot. Who would have thought I'd get lectured by a boy like that? How old is Kazuki anyway? He's probably like, if JRPGs are any standard to go by, I bet he's 17 or 16. I'd actually believe him. Maybe we change to, maybe change Jose's perspective. Maybe he'll live on, do great things, or die in the war. It's hard to say. All right, on to the next section as we make our way out. Since we can't go back the way we went for some reason. Oh, <laughs> we're going back to the, uh, we're going out the, the back way. So, all right. It looks like really going this way, uh, uh, basically uh, blocks off the one fight where we had to fight those soldiers next to the explosive canisters and that's it. Reporting, the enemies are on the road with the scientists. A THC fleet is landing on Batangas. The rebels are attacking the base. Is the Midas transport ready? Runway, runway is being used. We're loading Midas onto a ship. Take the safety switch off Midas. Change the transport ship's destination to Batangas Bay. What? We'll need GHQ's permission to use it. We can't let Dan Dahan Jean take over this country. I'll take full responsibility. Get my Fonzer ready. Uh oh. Looks like people are going into desperation mode. That's never a good thing. They're, you're never thinking straight when that happens. You're always ex you're always looking for the immediate result instead of the long ending game. Then again, I don't know what I would do if I was in a situation like that, or if I was in the army. Never was in the army, at least in my country, so uh, wouldn't know what that's like. All I can all I can do is commiserate or or respect. Wait, Lukov still has a missing arm, but we never saw him lose his arm before. Okay, whatever. Yeah, they don't explain him losing his arm. There wasn't a cutscene that said he lost it. It's just gone now. Huh. A lake? Alright, whatever. That's right. A submarine will pick you up behind the base at Tall Lake. Ah, well, that was easy. Roger. We still have to get... Yeah, his arm's gone. Although, I swore in the end of the last episode, he had both of his arms. Am I wrong? Maybe I am wrong. Lukov, what happened? Uh, looks like he fell fell down. Or his things not his back. Whoa, that was that was kind of a sped up a little walk ago. 
Looks like my voluntary didn't last. Sounds like you took a, took a bit of damage. There they are! Get them! Kill them! Kill the scientist if you have to! Uh oh. Combat time. And, like before, like last, like in the. Like in a previous episode where we did this fight, it's pretty similar actually. What luck! There's no time to wait for the sub. Take the enemy hovercraft. You'll be able to escape on it. Emma, take care of the scientists. I'll cover Lukov. Kazuki, forget me. The scientists are more important. Are you stupid? You think I'm gonna leave you behind? Ugh. Annoyed dot dot dot. Alright, but yeah, as far as I know, this is basically exactly like the fight from uh, from the other pathway. As far as I know, anyway. Alright, we're going to leave on everything as is. No reason to change otherwise. So. At least I don't believe we should. And yeah, we got to protect the scientists, although, like before, they're just going to run up to towards the enemy, so... I think... Oh, you know, I... Well, no, don't do that. I forgot last episode to show my victory conditions, but we all know that's going to be basically all enemy pilots except those on the cans destroyed or made to surrender. Losing, pilot, losing conditions, pilots are destroyed or the death of Lukov or Alyssa. So two scientists can die, but not Lukov or Alyssa. So, all right. Anyway, let's uh, let's continue on. Have her deal with that if she hits. All right. Yeah, we knew you could do it. To, let's see, what the uh, 30% or 76? Now let's go 76. We'll leave the can until Lissa. Now, what's my percentage just to hit from here? Only 16, huh? Yeah, there. 33. He's got. In oh, right, I forgot to talk about what's on the map. Okay. Let's see, there's one, two, three? I think just three cannons. Okay, three cannons. Uh, three 40 millimeter cannons with anti-impact defenses. Uh, no skills to speak of. Uh, and then we've got, let's see, a casual. How many casuals? Two casuals? Got two casuals with OCU uh, generic units and no skills to speak of. Uh, got a genie, so we got a rocket launcher there, and then we've got a uh, MB2, MBT2 Quarve tank with a cannon. No skills to mention. So, all right. Anyway, although he has anti-impact too, I wonder if I should just try to uh, finish the cannon off. Although I'm not going to be able to do a ton of damage, but there's a chance I'll hit. Now let me see what Ryoga's options are. He can't hit that mech, so... Ugh. His percentages are definitely not very good here. Yeah, about the same either way. Alright, let's uh, let's have him. Let's see if he can uh, destroy that. Probably not. Ooh, we got lucky there. Nice. Sweet. Maybe one of the scientists will actually live a little bit longer this time. Nice. Okay. Yep, just keep moving, scientists. Don't wait for us to make any decent progress. Eh, well, you know, escort missions. They always got to be the most annoying things in games. Uh-oh. Dude, going right for the gullet, are we? That'd be funny if he got ejected because of that. I mean, I doubt it ever happened. Ah! Come on, Shafe or Hafe or whatever. Yeah! That almost never activates the way I want it to. Alright. Let's deal with uh, this jerk. Might as well take him out if we can. Man, no skills got activated though. Are we 
close enough to hit him? Yeah. Let's just take this guy out. Probably not going to do enough damage with my shotgun to finish that guy off. Ooh, we did. Nice. Okay, I'll take that. Guy took four of us to take him out, but we did it. No, don't move, scientist. You got so much to live for. All right, can we get a number two on that chick? No, of course not. Oh well. All right, let's uh, move. I need to move uh, I'm a bit closer. Yeah, let's keep working on that uh, uh, cannon. Why not? If it hits. Yeah. All right. I am all I am all up for hitting up in here. Ooh, we got a stun out of him. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll last longer than a than a turn. Actually, he's he's not down. Oh, but we have the we have the tank to deal with. What's the range on the tank again? Six, uh, six, uh, six spots, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can move here. I was going to go up and punch him, like, right in his... Well, I can still do that here, but I would... Oh, yeah, I can still... I can still be punched. I keep hoping I'm gonna get like. Ooh. Go ahead and finish him off then. Hopefully. Come on. Uh, stop moving, you freaks. Don't you wanna don't you wanna see your families? Don't you wanna go to your home ball? Nah, I didn't. I always keep hoping I'm gonna get an eject or a stun. Uh oh, there goes that scientist. Or he might miss. That's always possible. All right, let's have Emma keep working on that guy. Oh, and the genius stays stunned. I'm kind of surprised. Whoa, whoa, that was weird. That little animation turned there. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Probably should focus on him now. Oh, no. Uh, not nuts. I didn't want to do that. Oh, well. Finish him off. I meant to, I meant to, like, have, a uh, I meant to have Kazuki step back, but, oh, well. There we go. Oh, I guess, scientist runs, <laughs> what's wrong with you, scientist? Come on. You want to die, don't you? I wonder if it's even po I bet it is possible to, to save the sci all the scientists. Not that it's really necessary, but I bet you could. Ooh, double slot. Yes, sweet. Didn't hit the thing I wanted, but okay. Oh, come on! Uh, I was hoping to take out his arm, because it was really close. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's going on here? What's this? Hey, is anyone there? What's wrong, Joe? It's no use. We can't hold them up. We need help! We're almost done here. Hang in there. This guy's good. Hurry up! Gaster, to your right! Ah! Gaster! Ugh! Joe, what happened? Do you copy? Damn it. As far as I know, th they still get defeated anyway, even if you beat this fight like, really quickly. 
So don't worry about trying to like, oh, I gotta beat in so much time, otherwise they die. You know, that type of thing, because as far as I know, they do anyway. So. Ooh, not bad. All right, can we get, I think I gotta be able to do enough damage to get a, Surrender, nice. I don't think I'm close enough to do any, uh... Yeah, sure. If, if he survives, why not? It doesn't really matter. I was about to say, I'm not keeping this run anyway, so... Yeah, I'm not really getting very lucky with my, um, with my ejecting of, uh, of pilots and stuff like that. I don't know why I can't get that to, that that eject punch to work. I think I'm just I think you can't have a I think you can't have a melee item equipped or something like that while doing it. That's the only reason I can think of. The all the skill set uh, discussion said all it says is uh, um, oh he's surrendering. <laughs> he's like I'm not doing with this crap. All right, let's, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, try to destroy it. If not, we'll, uh, we'll get the tank to surrender. What's his percentage to hit? Yeah, not very good. I think I might, he might be able to hit the tank. If he can, yeah, I'll just have him. So I'll, have, I'll try to have Ryogo and, uh, uh, cause, uh, Kazuki try to finish this guy off. No reason, because we can finish that tank off and be fine. Okay, it's not happening. <laughs> At least not at this angle, anyway. All right, let's uh, let's just have Dennis finish him off. Yep. And that's it, because we don't need to finish off the other cannon to to uh, uh, to. Uh, uh, get the finish the mission. So, yeah, we actually saved all the scientists. Ha! Huh. Well then, I mean, not that it really matters, but I'll go ahead and save it anyway. So, all right. Of course, now we have to drop everyone off and go save uh, the Purple Haze. Luca, protect Alyssa and others. I'll go help Purple Haze. Affirmative. Emma, come with me. You're a scientist. You don't have to fight. Even though she's been fighting this whole time, might as well keep going. I can't. Mine is still out there. I'm staying. I see. Kazuki, why didn't you just leave me behind? Is this really a good time to talk? Aren't your friends in danger right now? I mean, like, important danger? Like... You're one of us. We can't leave you behind. You're too soft. You might regret that in the future. Hey, I saved your life. Don't push it. I'm worried about Purple Haze. Let's go. Yeah, it looks like they're not doing too well. Even without Jose helping helping the enemy, it looks like they're still getting some trouble. Will we be Will we be in time? Yes, the, we took less time to get to our objective, but it looks like Purple Haze is still in trouble, and the Midas might still get away. Will Kazuki and the gang be able to save Purple Haze this time around without and without Jose's help? Will they be able to uh, to maybe get a better leg up and get the Midas? Or will history doom to repeat itself in certain situations no matter... Or will the story continue as the same no matter what path you chose? Well, you probably already understand already, but find out what occurs in the next episode of Front Mission 3 as we finish the, uh, finish the alternate path before we go back on to the official storyline. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.